Hey guys, uh, today I'm showing you all my new Takama Blizzard. Got this about a week ago, but I've been out of town for about a whole week, so I haven't really got the chance to look through it. I mean, I got it through in the mail and then got my. got home at night after work and then just messed around with a little bit, but not really got to mess around. Did come with five mags. Uh. Four Helix and one D Mag. This one's the Helix Mag. Shoot, uh, first strike right here. They said it's not really recommended because of the springs inside, but I'm not really sure about that. And the D Mags, same, uh, not really. Actually, the same concept as the die mags. Got the same flip ones, shape projectile, or first strikes. For now, I'm just using regular paintballs in there. I haven't dis disassembled this one yet, but I have with the regular Helix mags. These ones are pretty easy. It's really. Just uh, springs and more internals, basically. Now with this one, got this one about a week ago. While I was gone, I ordered the Rail Riser. You're gonna need this if you're gonna be playing paintball with a mask. Because, I mean, if you haven't already masked and sights don't really match. And, Honestly, for a new gun, this is really good. It's already, if you shoot this, let's see, has a better kick than all my other guns. Has a more snappy sound instead of the regular Tipman. Just pop, and this one's just all snap, ready to go. Um, I haven't really got that much accessories for it yet. I have my vest. I'm, I'm already washing it already. I washed it. It's already drying outside. And then just some mags right here. Oh, the pouches right here. I got a new chest rig too. I'll be showing that here, here in a few. Uh, should be here Friday. But uh, I'll show you a new review on that one. And one thing I don't like is... Just how thick these are. I mean, they're pretty good to hold, hold and handle. But if you're going to be stuffing them in the standard mag pouches, you're going to have the uh, trouble just taking them in and out. I mean, just looks like I have a box rectangle in my pouch right there. So I mean, besides all that, this is all pretty good. It's really nice, really simple. Let's see. I'll show y'all how easy the snap in and out is. I mean, I thought it would be just really cheap. But. It's just really snap in, snap out. And right here, you can also take out the pin right here. Let's just touch that right there. Not really sure how sensitive it will be, especially like playing big games. You, know, you don't want that to pop out. But let's snap out the magwell. It's really sturdy. You can see right there, once you put the D-Mags or whatever mags you use, I talked to the MCS people, they said only uh, Helix and D-Max, so I've seen other people use like Milsig Ma Max, but it's honestly. So for first uh, mag fed again, I mean, it's, really not, it's pretty really good. Right there you can see where the first track port is right there. And then, do 
is right there. And then my first, this is gonna, just going to be my first one right here. I was just going to go buy the regular Tipman TMC, but I didn't want to deal with the hose right there. I wanted to be on the go instead of just carrying another tank on my back and then a hose. And just a whole mess right there. This one was just going to be one whole thing right here. Tank right there. Really easy to take it on and off. Put on and off. And then just a regular 13 CI tank. I was going to buy the tank off of the website, you know, the, the whole combo with the tank and stock, but I mean, why spend? I mean, it is a ninja tank, but why spend more when you can get one for $30 cheaper right there on eBay? I mean, you gotta find deals. Um, that's all I do on eBay right there. Just find deals and take advantage of it. So, I mean, to pop on also, you just put hold this down. You gotta put, put it in that line right there. Just stuff it in there and then hold it in until it comes out and then just sturdy right there and then pop back in the magwell for this these little holes right here just it's almost just like legos Stick it in like that. Pop it in. Put the pin in. Uh, sometimes it can be really weird to put in but usually it just pops in <sighs> well I'll just deal with that here in a bit but and then for the helix mags comes with these anal beads right here just loading rods and then to start it off, you just almost load it like a, if you're loading a paintball gun. Just stick it in. Just stick it in. I'm not going to load it all the way because... I don't really want to stick some paint, but just do this, jam it down until you see the whole spring right here. So I'll come over and we'll just all, the whole spring will just come all the way like this. And it'll be just empty, so you just, once the spring's like that, you just pop in the balls. So after that, I mean, it's pretty good. Uh, right now, I can't really shoot it right now. It's already all dark out. But here in the morning, I'll show you a video also. Just me shooting it. I mean, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. And thank you.